What's going on everybody? Uh, this is Mark from No Blemish Mobile Detailing. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification, leave some comments. And we service uh, Lake Elsinore, the surrounding cities. And if you need a detail, go ahead and uh, find our information down below. And today, I'm gonna to let you guys know how we got seven maintenance details in one day. All right, Mark, so today's Saturday, November. Hey bro, was it cold today? It was cold, yeah. Yo, hey, this area, for people that don't know, I see a lot of mountains back there. How's the weather, man? Is it always cold? Is it hot? Um, it's both. You know, when it's hot out here, it's it's hot. And then when it gets cold, it's really cold. Like this morning, I was up about six o'clock outside, had my vest on, I was outside, filling up. I was pretty much freezing. <laughs> and then you still gotta come and get wet with the details? Yes, sir, yeah. <laughs> All right, man, so we have the first maintenance client. What's your strategy to get those maintenance clients? I think it's just putting out good work, being responsible, being on time, communicating. The work is one of the things that speaks for itself. And then from there, we kind of built a trust, we built a relationship. And then on top of that, this customer, they're actually from our church. So, you know, we have that church family, you know, they, they support us and we support them and we appreciate it. So that also helps out too, you know, um, our connections. Would you say being part of a community or a group can really help your detailing business? It can, yeah, it actually does. When you have those who really support the cause, who understand the cause, like we got a, a group of um, people on our Facebook, we're all from the church and we're all sharing each other's posts. And I got a few, a few buddies who are detailers. We've got a sister who does pet grooming. So we all sit in there and, and we all share each other's um, posts. So yeah, it, it can be very helpful. Now, how were you able to get seven maintenance detailing clients? Do they just hit you up randomly? Have you had them for a long time? How does that work? So for some of my clients, they actually prefer Saturday mornings. It's their free day, so it works out for them. And then, so what we do is with our other clients, if there's a day that we don't have available, I'll try to put it in all on one schedule. So it helps us out at the same time. Isn't that a lot of work? It's not, no, especially when you got good helpers. Um, the process goes smooth, the process goes good. Like I said, we like to go by appointment only, so we make sure that our timing is there and then our location. So we're not driving to other cities coming back and forth. Everything works its way out. And then our last job is like maybe two blocks away from my house. All right, Mark, we're at the next maintenance client. Yes, sir. How'd you get this customer? Well, believe it or not, he was um, actually, shout out to my buddy Vince. <laughs> He was actually using uh, my buddy Vince, and then I guess uh, Vince couldn't service the vehicles no more. Vince gave this client my number. He reached out, and ever since I've been, uh, you know, uh, taking care of his vehicles for him. Let me ask you, how do you feel about other detailers being friends and networking? You think it's possible, or you think it just depends on the personalities? Oh, you know, I, I, I love it. You know, I love uh, those detailers who are out there for each other and not for themselves. I think that's what makes our community tighter, better, and supportive. Perfect, man. So how are we gonna start this maintenance? Um, on this one, uh, most likely we're gonna start on the inside. We're gonna do all the wipe down on all three vehicles. First, that's the way we like to do it since the vehicles are lined up. Oh, you have three vehicles? Three vehicles in one location, yeah. All those three? All three, yeah. Hey, that's good, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna start doing all the wipe down on the inside. Of course, they're all just regular maintenances. So we're gonna wipe everything down. We're gonna do the vacuum. Once that's done, we'll start on the washing process. All right, Mark. So when brand new people hit you up, do they have to do a full detail first? Could they jump on the maintenance package right away? What's your structure? You know, before when we started, they can just book a basic maintenance. So we actually been a year into the business already. So we're actually changing that up. What we've been doing now is that if they reach out, our minimum is gonna be a platinum service and that's the route we go first. And of course we would highly recommend full details. As of now, we're changed that, but before, yeah. They would have to do a full detail or they could No, just... they would have to just, uh, they can book a, a regular wash. What's so bad about that, in your opinion? Sometimes what happens is that, you know, a customer books you for just a regular maintenance. You always hear it's not that bad, right? We show up to customers like this vehicle's here. I don't know if you've seen the condition before. These vehicles were always well taken care of. So, you know, these things like this, we were grateful, but there's been vehicles in the past that are just, they've been a mess. You know, it's hard for detailers to leave your work looking a certain way. You know, that's the downside of it is that sometimes you run into bigger jobs than expected. All right, Mark. So you just did something that a lot of detailers are so scared to do. You raise your prices. Oh yeah. <laughs> what were they before and what are they now? Our basic prices for cars were 50 bucks on a, on a quick wash. 
mid-size was 55 and then larger vehicles went i think from uh anywhere from like 65 to 85 our starting packages for cars are 75. Mid-size and larger trucks were kind of in the same area. It's one. It's from 125 to 150. What made you want to raise your prices? What was that wake-up call where you're like, I have to do it? I think for us was knowing how much we were working after paying employees and products and gas. I was seeing that it wasn't really weighing out. So I said, hey, something has to change. And a lot of detailers are scared to raise their prices because they think they're gonna lose customers. How did it go for you? Yeah, I believe I lost like two customers. I know one of them hasn't reached back out to me, so I kind of consider that a loss already. He was a great client though. Yeah, we, we lost a few, but at the, at the end of the day, I do gotta provide. This is our business um, and you know, we gotta stand firm. All right, Mark. Now that you get new customers, how do you pitch them the maintenance? Are you like, you need to get this? Or are you more like, hit me whenever you're ready? You know, because we still have our basic maintenance clients for like any new clients. Like I said, we try to sell more of a premium service first. After that, you know, we of course we educate them as far as the importance of taking care of their vehicle. And we tell them we're the guys to help you out. A lot of them do jump on board and then, um, you know, we take care of their vehicles from there. Has anybody got a detail one time? You pitch in the maintenance and then they're like, Nah, or I let you know. Um, yeah, you know we you, we always get those customers. I think I would be lying if I told you we didn't. Mm. But yeah, they're out there. All right, Mark. So let me ask you, man. What should go for your detailing business? Focus on maintenance or focus on new customers? Or are you still trying to figure that out? We're actually trying to target a whole new um, category of new customers. We're actually looking into like business marketing. Mm. Hopefully that can help out. At the same time, you know. Uh, you know, we got the Lord on our side who gives us favor, so that's our key. But you know, we're trying to get educated and learning a little bit more how to grow our business, not just in our local community, but you know, hitting a bigger clientele. All right, so that's how we do it, everybody. That's how we get our maintenance clients. And let me know how you guys get your maintenance clients in the comments below. And also, if you guys need any detail chemicals, the things that we use, those will be in the uh, link below. It don't cost you anything, but it does help out our page. Thank you.